war says in the Quran, tell the believing men to lower their gaze from looking at forbidden things and protect their private parts from illegal sexual acts, etc. That is purer for you. Verily, Allah is the all aware of what they do. Pornography, a threat to society. The staggering size of the pornography industry, its influence upon the media and the acceleration of technology, paired with the accessibility, anonymity, and affordability of porn, all contribute to its increasing impact. A wave of porn plague sweeps throughout the world, affecting people from all walks of life, creating havoc to almost everyone who sees it, with over 75 million porn addicts worldwide and growing fast. It has also reached the Muslim world. Porn addiction has destroyed families and societies. Not only is porn addiction a health issue, new research shows that porn has a devastating effect on the brain. Shocking statistics show how a whole new society of problems has caused this growing world epidemic that has been blamed for high rates of divorce, child molestation, increase of rape cases and abuse against women and children. Big business. In 2006, the sex-related entertainment business estimated revenues were just under $13 billion in the US, according to the president of the Adult Video News Media Network. At that time, US porn revenue exceeded the combined revenues of ABC, CBS, and NBC. In 2007, global porn revenues were estimated at $20 billion, with $10 billion in the US alone. From 2001 to 2007, internet porn went from a $1 billion a year industry to a $3 billion a year industry in the US. It is estimated both global and US porn revenues have been reduced by 50% between 2007 and 2011 due to the amount of free pornography available online. Porn and the World Wide Web. Every second, $3,075.64 is spent on pornography. Every second, 28,258 people are viewing pornography. Every 39 minutes, a new pornographic video is created in the United States. 35% of all internet downloads are pornographic. 42.7% of the internet users view pornography. 30% of porn addicts are women and 70% are men. 1.5 billion pornographic downloads per month. Over 420 million pornographic pages. Over 13,000 porn movies produced every year, 4.2 million pornographic websites, 68 million daily pornographic search engine requests are related to pornography, 72 million worldwide internet users visit adult sites per month. In the US, internet porn pulls in $2.84 billion a year. The entire worldwide industry is worth $4.9 billion. In the US alone, 40 million Americans are regular visitors to porn sites. Social scientists, clinical psychologists and biologists have begun to clarify some of the social and psychological effects and neurologists are beginning to delineate the biological mechanisms through which pornography produces its powerful negative effects. Porn effects on family marital. According to the National Coalition for the Protection of Children and Families 2010, 47% of families in the United States reported that pornography is a problem in their homes. Pornography use increases the marital infidelity rate by more than 300%. 40% of sex addicts lose their spouses. 58% suffer considerable financial loss and about a third lose their jobs. 68% of divorce cases involve one party meeting a new paramour over the internet whilst 56% involve one having an obsessive interest in pornographic websites. Porn addiction and the child sexual abuses. There is a correlation between online porn and paedophilia. There is an estimated 1 million pornographic videos and or images of children online right now. In addition, child predators often use internet porn to lure in young people. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children states that almost half of all child predators have child porn on their computers. Search engines get 116,000 queries every day related to child pornography. In 2012, 54% of child sexual abuse websites were hosted in North America. It has also been estimated that there are between 50,000 and 100,000 paedophiles involved in child pornography rings, and one third of them operate within the United States. Research shows that there are five predictable steps a man goes through as he becomes addicted to pornography. The five stages of addiction. Number one, early exposure. Most men who get addicted to porn starts early. They see the stuff when they are very young. Number two, addiction. Later comes addiction. You keep coming back to porn. It becomes a regular part of your life. You're hooked, you can't quit. Number three, escalation. After a while, escalation begins. You start to look for more and more graphic porn. You start using porn that would have disgusted you when you started, now it excites you. Number four, desensitization. Eventually, you start to become numb. Even the most graphic, degrading porn doesn't excite you anymore. You become desperate to feel the same thrill again, but you can't find it. And number five, acting out sexually. At this point, many men take a dangerous jump and start acting out sexuality. They move from the paper and plastic images of porn to the real world. 
Pornography is addictive and neuroscientists are beginning to map the biological substrate of this addiction. Users tend to become desensitized to the type of pornography they use, become bored with it and then seek more perverse forms of pornography. Men who view pornography regularly have a higher tolerance for abnormal sexuality, including rape, sexual aggression and sexual promiscuity. Prolonged consumption of pornography by men produces stronger notions of women as commodities or as sex objects. Pornography engenders greater sexual permissiveness, which in turn leads to greater risk of out of wedlock birth and STDs. These in turn lead to still more weaknesses and debilities. Child sex offenders are more likely to view pornography regularly or to be involved in its distribution. Porn is like a drug. On the surface, cocaine and porn don't seem to have a lot in common, but studies are showing that viewing pornography tricks your brain into releasing the same pleasure chemicals that drugs do. What's more is your brain actually begins to rewire itself of this artificial stimulation. There are three main areas of the brain affected by any type of addiction, drugs, alcohol, gambling, etc. Number one, the ventral tegmental area, the VTA. Number two, the nucleus accumbens. And number three, the prefrontal cortex. These are the very same areas affected by porn addiction. Here's how. Deep inside your brain, there are some things called reward pathways. The reward pathways job is to help you keep alive by doing exactly what its name promises, rewards you, or more specifically, rewards you when you do something that promotes life, such as eating food or achieving something you've worked hard for. And the way it rewards you is by releasing chemicals in your brain, many called dopamine, but others also called oxytocins. Normally, these chemicals are really handy. They help us feel pleasure and bond with other people, and they motivate us to come back to important activities that make us happy. The problem is, the reward pathway can be hijacked. The way substances like cocaine and opioids make users feel high is by triggering the reward pathway to release high levels of dopamine without making the user do any of the work to earn it. Want to know what else does that? Porn. And that surge of dopamine is causing more than just feelings. As it goes pulsing through the brain, dopamine helps to create the new brain pathways that essentially lead to users back to the behavior that triggered the chemical release. The more a drug user hits up or a porn user looks at porn, the more these pathways get widened to the brain, making it easier and easier for the person to turn back to using, whether they want it or not. Over time, the constant overload of chemicals causes the brain changes as well. Just like a junkie will eventually require more and more of the drug to get the buzz or even just feel normal. Porn users can quickly build up a tolerance as their brain adapts to the high levels of dopamine that porn releases. In other words, even though porn is still releasing dopamine into the brain, the user can't feel its effect as much. That's because the brain is trying to protect itself from getting an overload of dopamine by trying to get rid of some of its chemical receptors which act like tiny catcher mitts that receive the dopamine released. With fewer receptors, the brain thinks less dopamine is there and the users don't feel a stronger reaction. As a result, many porn users have to find more porn, find it more often or even find more extreme versions or all of three to generate even more dopamine to feel excited. And once the porn user becomes accustomed to the brain pulsing with these chemicals, trying to cut back on the habit can lead to withdrawal symptoms just like with drugs. Porn changes the brain. Just like other addictive substances, porn floods the brain with dopamine. That rush of brain chemicals happening over and over again rewires the brain reward pathways, ultimately changing the makeup of the viewer's brain. This can result in an increased appetite for porn. Watching porn lays down new neural pathways in your brain. The more you use, the stronger the neural connections and the more difficult it is to stop. That doesn't mean you can't stop. You can rebuild these pathways by avoiding pornography and seeking healthy alternatives. Porn is addictive. It wasn't very long ago that doctors and researchers believed that in order for someone to be addictive, it had to involve an outside substance that you can physically put into your body, like cigarettes, alcohol, or drugs. Porn can be addictive because the level of neurochemicals released into the reward pathways. A torrent can be built to porn, and you could be needing more and more of it in more extreme forms. Porn affects your behavior. Many porn users used to find themselves getting aroused by things that used to disgust them or that go against what they think is morally right. And once they start watching extreme and dangerous sex acts, these porn users are being taught that those behaviors are more normal and common than they actually are. Porn users tend to think what they see in porn is normal behavior and even expect it from their partners. Habitual users have more accepting attitudes to violence and report feeling less empathy for rape victims. 
Compulsive porn users crave porn but did not have higher sexual desires than controls. This finding aligns perfectly with the current model of addiction and refutes the theory that higher sexual desire causes compulsive porn use. Drug addicts are thought to be driven to seek their drug because they want rather than enjoy it. This abnormal process is known as incentive motivation. This is a hallmark of addiction disorders. This is just a dip in the ocean from the devastating effects of porn. Please don't forget to like us and share us on the Digital Mimba Facebook and Twitter. Please also subscribe to the Digital Mimba YouTube channel in the links below.